Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Day Z. If you enjoyed this video, please become an Uber driver, but instead of driving people to their destinations, lock them in your car and play them my videos on repeat until they subscribe to me, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Speaking of spreading the good word of my channel, as we all know, the current economic climate is looking pretty grim. Bitcoin just crashed again, and hot tub streamers are taking everyone's views. I can't believe people sit around watching this filth for six hours at a time. I always cap it at five, because I have self-respect. Anyway, this has led me to the realization that I need to get more subscribers. And then it came to me. I must take people prisoner in DayZ and force them at gunpoint to subscribe to my channel. It's textbook extortion. And the reason this will be so effective is that you really don't want to die in DayZ. Unless, of course, you're repetitively killing yourself in the hope of spawning closer to your friends. The game is brutal and being a fresh spawn is a truly testing experience. And just keeping your vitals up so you don't keel over and collapse is a real struggle. Struggle. So as you can imagine, once people get any kind of decent loot, they desperately want to survive. Lads and lasses, it's time to grow this channel by preying on this desperation. Step 1, I need to find my mate Stealtho Robbo. I'll edit out the journey, but eventually I find him cutting up a body into tiny little pieces with a combat knife. Seems excessively morbid, but I take the dead man's loot, and Robbo even gives me a sewing kit so I can fix my clothing. Never did I think I'd speak about sewing and maiming a corpse in the same sentence. We set off through the orchard, ready to find some dodgy malakas to take prisoner. In most of the games we play, Robbo chooses a thick female character, so it's pretty weird to see him as a serious military guy. I think we all know there's a dump truck under those cargo pants though. We decide to investigate some sheds, and come across a pile of meat. It's cow meat, so it seems a player has been hunting himself some dinner. I hope he's also hungry for some modest pelican content because when I find him, I'm shoving a shotgun in his mouth and forcing him to turn notifications on. We clear out most of the zombies in the area, and then while looting a hospital, I find a naughty nurse dress. And this will be our prisoner's uniform. I also find blood testing equipment so we can now harvest their blood. God's plan. We cook up some of the beef, and I'm pretty sure my guy is going through puberty because he needs to eat constantly. Robbo proceeds to let off a pink smoke grenade to try and attract players which might get us killed, but at least we'll die looking drippy. While clearing out an abandoned military checkpoint, we encounter our first player. He doesn't have a microphone, but seems to be quite responsive to our voices. Hello. Hey dude, do you have a mic? Do you have a mic, mate? You look cold. Alright, follow us, man. We're taking you prisoner. We'll give you food and shelter if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't try and run. My boy will just shoot you. Don't try and hide behind a tree, mate. Do you understand? Oh, he's we've got a runner. <laughs> he didn't want to subscribe, bro. We are playing on international servers, so there's a fair chance he didn't speak English. I guess the life lesson here is that it's okay to murder people if they're different from you. We've been playing for hours, and that's the first person we've come across, so it's time to start being creative. Most of the towns and cities have PA systems, and if we broadcast enticing messages to attract players, we can run a catfish operation. After a bit of looking, I find the elusive truck battery, which should be a suitable power source. Robbo makes me carry it because he says he's the better shot, which is true, but hurtful. It's at this moment we spot another player, or rather a potential new subscriber. I get distracted taking down zombies, and we briefly lose him, but then he unexpectedly seeks us out. I'm family, I'm family. What's up, man? What's up? Uh, hey, nothing much. I am, I am by myself. Alright, man. Come into the shed real quick. We have a late, we'll, we'll give you food, we'll give you water, we'll give you everything, man, but we have one condition, alright? You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Uh, like, what's your YouTube? Uh, it's Modest Pelican. Modestin Pelican? Uh, Modest? Modestin Pelican? Yeah, exactly. Modest Pelican? Modest Pelican, yeah, exactly, exactly. If you leave a comment, so I know that, I know that you've subbed. Don't mind him. Pulling up videos of, like, actual Pelicans and Satan's face. <laughs> I have to search. So like humble pelican. And it's pull and it's pulling up uh, videos of pelicans. <laughs> My friend's gonna feed you some. Are they tablets? Peanuts or something, mate. All right, he's gonna feed you some peanuts so you don't pass out on us. How are you going with that, man? Uh, still looking. <laughs> I'm just so irrelevant. Do you have a picture of a uh, pelican? With a yeah, helmet. yeah, that's me. That's me, man. Now, if you can leave a comment on any one of my videos, okay. Moss the Boss. Hey, my, uh, Thank you for the sub. Name. Thank you for the yep, sub, man. Me. It quickly became apparent that Moss the Boss was far too much of a genuinely sweet guy to harvest blood from, but we now have earned one subscriber. Fortunately, the server was starting to fill up, and our encounters with players were about to sharply rise. I quickly drink some of God's nectar because water is the only truth in this world. 
Actually, something quite amusing happened on Twitter the other day. Some random man tweeted out, stay hydrated, and someone commented underneath it saying, kill yourself for copying Modest Pelican. This community didn't invent water intake, but I like to think we made it mainstream. We all drank water before it was cool. We attached the car battery and put out an announcement to the world. Hello there, this is Modest Pelican. Please come to Berezino. Hey, <laughs> Stealth that Robbie on the remix. Please come, Berezino, for free food and weapons. Moss the boss, if you can still hear us, I miss you. I miss your buddy, bro. Mm, you know what? I probably wouldn't believe it. Basically, everyone has trust issues in DayZ, and I honestly don't blame them. For God's sake, we shot a man for not being a native English speaker before, but curiosity always kills the cat. Whether it was the noise we were making or total chance, the streets begin to fill up. The first guy we come across had no mic, but understood us. He, however, did not like the idea of subscribing to my channel, so I fired my shotgun into his chest. The second player was far more responsive, especially as he had just witnessed the public execution. How you going, man? Come up into the woods a bit, away from these zombies. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Nah, we're gonna no, give no, you no, food no, no. if you do a challenge for us, man. What's your name? Hopper. First thing is, you gotta put on this nurse dress, right? You look cold. <laughs> You look great. You look great, Hopper. Very, very masculine. Very masculine. I'm just gonna take a little bit of your blood, alright? My friend's just gonna play some ropes around you. After he's had a drink of water, it's important to uh, stay hot. No, 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 no. Hopper, seriously, I promise you, your life's gonna change for the better. Do not try any funny business. This is a trust exercise, alright? Don't worry, don't worry, man. Just taking a little bit of your blood. Okay, so you need to search up Modest Pelican on YouTube and subscribe and leave a comment. I have to in two seconds. Thanks, Hopper. Look, YouTube, the YouTube algorithm is really brutal, all right? Hi, from Hopper. All right, Hopper, I see your comment, man. There you go. Don't cut, him loose. Don't cut him loose yet. Why? Oh, why? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend's just getting very. Put a sack on his head. <laughs> He's got a sack on your head, Hopper. You can put your clothes back on. We're gonna get you some nice food. And hey, make sure to put those notifications on, man, or I'll come back and murder you. All right, Hopper. I've just subscribed and Thank I want a dress, so I think. Thank you for subscribing. I'm just going to inject you with some of this. All right. Uh, it's methamphetamines. Oh God, I hit myself. All right, well, I'm. I'm ready to f***ing go. Sometimes to spread the good word of your channel, you've got to be a little bit sadistic. Another successful interaction. We're currently averaging one subscriber every three hours of gameplay, which isn't terribly efficient. The sun's also going down, so we'll need shelter soon, as nighttime is incredibly dark. As we're finding a new place to stay, we spot a zombie horde chasing a man into a train station. You should always prey on the vulnerable, and so we move in for the kill. Put your hands up, man. We will let you live, but we need one small favor from you, all right? I just need you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, bro, and then we'll give you some food, all right? And then we're all good. As you can imagine, you know, times are tough right now. You've got to go out and really grow, you, grow your audience anyway, by any means necessary. Uh, it's pretty creative. I give you credit for it. It's actually how he's gotten 95% of his following in this, using this method. Yeah. This man is the nicest bandit on DayZ. Is that you? Is that you, Andrew? Ah, uh, yeah. That's a nice username you have there as well, bro. Jack's Prostate. Just one last thing. We just need you to put on this dress and do a little dance. Ah, uh, just take your pants off as well, man. Otherwise, what's what's the point, you know? Uh, I'll sing, but you have to uh, shoot at my... At your feet? feet. Okay, <laughs> deal, deal, deal. I like it. Bang, bang. My baby shot me. <laughs> yes! Uh, oh. Bang, bang. I heard the sound. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was beautiful. Another successful mission. Rather than ending up with a bullet in his head, he's now got plenty of food and some non-consensual memories that I imagine he'll cherish forever. As we're leaving the building, we spot a fresh spawn with a glow stick. We should really be finding a spot to spend the night, but at the same time, I simply must keep spreading the good word. Stop running, mate. We're friendly. No, you're not. You're liars. Oh, it's you. What's oh, up, man? this guy. Hey, what's up? Hopper. You look like... Oh, you... Did you die, Hopper? No, I'm not a guy. Oh, you're a girl? Yeah, and I keep on. Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry, Hopper. My apologies. I thought you were a very young boy. He <laughs> thought she was a boy. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I thought you were a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> With my face quite red, Hopper lets us know that in a nearby town, there's a huge fight going down between several players. It looks like we'll have to get a good night's sleep another time because it's time to head out into the darkness and take some prisoners. It's too dark and dangerous to just walk in, but Hopper proves to be an incredibly brave lass. She volunteers to pull out a glow stick and run right in to try and draw out some shots. I didn't even have to gaslight this decision. 
Hopper really is a true legend. And to our surprise, she doesn't get sniped in the head, so we push in and take the police station. There is one bloke here, but he isn't exactly a gillied up sniper. He's agitated and holding a broom. You good? Damn, chill out, bro. All right, put the broom down. All right, walk inside the police station, man. What's your name, man? What's your name? Yo, mom's fupa. That's it. That's really my gamer tag. Yo, gamer tag is your mom's fupa. All right, I like that. Just need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Then we're chilling. Hey, don't wriggle free, bro. Oh, shit. Do you mind? Hey, I was about to say, do you mind if I wiggle free? Nah, not yet, man. Comment on a video and tell me which one you comment on, and then I get the proof. Yo, I just commented and said, love the roleplay, and Daisy could do a video rating. Hey, thanks, man. It's a great idea. Maybe I will do a Daisy video. Four subscribers total, this is going extremely well. The police station has now filled up with players, and the situation is starting to get a little bit out of hand. Robbo and I are actually both pretty surprised everyone's still alive. We decide to turn this positive energy into potentially the most beautiful gaming moment you'll ever witness. You guys are all gonna sing a song for us. And you know Country Roads? They're just- Take with me with us. There it is. To Fuck. the place I belong. I belong. Oh. West Virginia. West Virginia. Uh, Take me home. <laughs> Oh, bro. oh my god, he got me too. And just like that, some malacca with a big boy gun came in and ruined any hope we had of getting that precious fifth subscriber. I thought Country Roads was universally appreciated, but he must not have been a big John Denver fan. This is not just about efficiently growing my channel anymore, it's also about getting revenge. He killed Hopper, he killed Robbo, he killed your mum's fupa for God's sake, it's time for revenge. As I approach Kamishovo, I can hear shots raining down from all angles. It sounds like there's a sniper in the hill and a couple of shotguns popping off in the town. The odds are against us. I decide to send it. I run in and some dude is shooting at Hopper, who I am incredibly surprised survived all that. I decide to try and save her life, so I run in and beat the guy to death. It's all right, I'm dying anyway. Oh, is that you? As I land my final blow, it becomes immediately apparent that the person with the shotgun was in fact Hopper. Hopper, if you're still subscribed, which I hope you are because we made a deal, I'm truly sorry about that genuine mistake. The police station begins filling up with fresh spawns again and Robbo advises that I kill anyone who doesn't have a microphone. I take his advice because I can't afford to die and do another three kilometer run. I need that fifth subscriber. Robbo arrives and gears up and then our communication goes down. Not ideal. He's outside looting the bodies and then two gunshots go off. Somebody just killed my baby boy. Fortunately, he doesn't know that I'm inside, so I line up a shot and extract revenge. I don't think it was the guy with the M4 who murdered everyone earlier, but at least I got some sort of revenge. I find another player and get straight to work to complete our objective. Is your profile picture a picture of a pelican with a helmet on? Yeah, that's the one. You're, you're so wholesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Mission complete, and just in time too. I hope you're doing well. I've got potentially the biggest Sons of Virgins episode coming up next week. Thanks for watching, you absolute legends. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.